Welcome back to our new lesson, Binomial Probability. So, pag sinabi nating binomial probability, that is the number of successes in a certain number of repeated trials of a random experiment. And our random experiment is known to be as a binomial experiment because it has uh, two possible outcomes, which is the probability of success and the probability of failure. You know, for example, so, what is the probability of drawing a king from a deck of cards? Ang probability of success natin doon ay 4 over 52. Kasi meron tayong 4 kings out of the 52 cards. Then, ang probability of failure naman natin ay 48 out of 52. Dahil meron tayong 48 cards na hindi king out of the 52 total cards in a certain deck. So, binomial probability is a result of a binomial experiment. And pag sinabi natin binomial experiment, so it pertains to an experiment with two possible outcomes. So, yung two possible outcomes nga natin ay tinatawag na success and failure. So, the probability of success will be denoted by a small letter P. So, that will be our representation for success. And for the probability of failure, so that will be denoted by small letter Q. Uh, example, let's identify first the difference between success and failure. So, we have the probability of drawing a king from a deck of cards. So, binanggit na natin kanina to. And that is uh, 4 over 52. So, because there are 4 kings out of the 52 cards, then ang probability of failure natin ay 48 over 52. Kasi merong 48 na hindi hari out of the 52 cards. So, yun yung success and failure natin. So, hindi natin pinag-uusapan yung ibang baraha. Pinag-uusapan lang natin king or not king, hari o hindi hari. And then, example number 2, so probability of 5 to face up upon rolling a dice. So, kung magpapagulong daw ako ng dice, so ano yung probability na lalabas ang 5? So, syempre, merong isang 5 doon, merong anim na faces yung dice natin. So, that will be 1 over 6. So, that will be our probability of success. Then, ilan naman doon yung hindi 5? So, ang hindi 5 doon ay 5. So, we have 5 over 6. Okay, so yung isang face of the die is 1 or 5. Then yung lima doon ay hindi 5. Kaya 1 over 6 yung success, 5 over 6 yung failure. So yun yung difference natin, ang probability of success and probability of failure. Okay, so binomial probability can be solved by utilizing this formula. So the formula is read as probability of x is equal to combination of n taken x at a time times p to the x power times q to the n minus x power. So, ganun ang pagbasa ng ating formula. So, again, ito yung kodi ko natin para mabasa natin. So, probability of x is equal to combination of n taken x at a time times p to the x power times q to the n minus x power. So, yung ating combination here, so that is combination of n taken x at a time. Yun lang naman yung medyo na iba. So, we will use the combination function of our scientific calculator. Okay, so let's identify the variable in our formula. So, we have probability of x for our p of x. Then, we have n. So, n pertains, pertains to the number of trials. So, ilang beses mo ba gagawin? yung ating random experiment. And then, letter X pertains to the number of successes. So, ilan yung expected outcome mo out of those trials. And then, we have letter P as our probability of success. Then, letter Q will be our probability of failure. Okay, so these are the meaning of those variables which are used in our formula. So, let's apply our binomial probability formula in a given probability problem. So, when an unbiased coin is tossed seven times. So, what is the probability of obtaining exactly four heads? So, ang sabi sa problem, iahagis ko yung aking coin ng pitong beses. 
Diba? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito. So, ano daw yung probability na sa pitong beses na yon yung apat doon, tao yung lalabas or tao yung magpe-face up. Okay? So, first thing to do, we need to identify first each of the variable in our formula. So, let's have first letter N. So, ang ating letter N is the number of trials. So, ilang beses natin iahagis yung coin natin. So, that is 7 times. So, therefore, ang ating number of trials is 7. Then, ang ating letter X will be 4. So, that will be equal to 4. So, because uh, we are expecting that 4 out of 7, so the head will appear. Okay, so apat na beses lalabas yung head sa pitong hagis natin ng coin. And then we have our probability of failure and probability of uh, success. So ang ating random experiment dito ay uh, tossing a coin. So upon tossing a coin, merong 1 half probability or 1 over 2 probability na lalabas yung head. At merong 1 half probability na hindi lalabas yung head. So, yung unang one-half natin as uh, labeled as letter P, yan yung ating probability of success, one-half. And ang ating letter Q is the probability of failure, which is one-half also. Para ma-check nyo kung tama yung value ng P sa kanang Q ninyo, dapat pag pinag-add sila ng dalawa, ang total nyan, one. Okay, pag pinag-add natin yung P sa kayong Q, ang total dapat nyan, lagi ay one. Diba, kung babalikan natin yung king kanina, four over fifty-two, 48 over 52. Pag pinag-add natin yung 4 sa kayong 48, that is 52 over 52 and that is equal to 1. Okay? So, because, uh, sabi natin sa ating previous lesson, the total probability of discrete random variables is always equal to 1. Okay, so proceed tayo. So, ang na-identify na natin yung mga value ng variable natin. So, n is equal to 7 x is equal to 4, p is equal to 1 half, and q is equal to 1 half also. So, let's apply now the formula. Probability of x is equal to combination of n taken x at a time, times p to the x power, times q to the n minus x power. Okay, so i-apply natin yung formula natin. So, i-compute natin yung ating binomial probability. Okay, so let's write first our formula. So again, our formula is P of X. So probability of X is equal to combination of N taken X at a time times P to the X power times Q to the N minus X power. So substitute tayo dun sa value na nakuha natin kanina. So ang ating probability na hinahanap ay probability that x will be equal to 4. So, nag-expect tayo ng apat na outcome dun sa pito na yon na head yung lalabas. So, this will be combination of uh, 7. So, 7 yung ating value of n taken 4 at a time. So, combination of 7 taken 4 at a time times 1 half to the uh, fourth power times one half also to the seven minus four, so that is third power. So again, tignan natin yung mga value ha. Yung letter N natin is replaced by seven. Yung ating letter X is replaced by four. Yung letter P natin is replaced by one half. Yung letter Q natin is replaced by one half also. So, yung x, pinalitan uli ng 4. Tapos, yung n minus x, that is 7 minus 4. So, we have 3. Kaya, naging 3. Compute. So, kung ihiwalay natin yung ating uh, combination of 7 taken 4 at a time. Kung i-co-compute natin yon ang formula nun ay 7 factorial over uh, 7 minus 4. We have 3 factorial times 4 factorial. So, ang ginamit natin formula dyan ay yung nileson natin nung last time. So, that is combination is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial 
times r factorial. Okay, so yung lesson natin regarding combinations and permutations. Then, multiplied by, so ang 1 half to the 4th power, so that is equal to 1 over 16. Kasi both numerator and denominator will be raised to the 4th power. So yung 1 to the 4th power is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, that is 1. Yung 2 to the 4th power ay 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that is 16. And then, times again, so 1 half to the 3rd power, so that is 1 over 8. Okay, and then simplify, gamit na tayo ng calculator sa ating uh, combination. So, we have 7 factorial divided by uh, open parenthesis, so 3 factorial times 4 factorial, close parenthesis. And that will be equal to 35. So, we have 35. So, this will be equal to 35. So, times 1 over 16, times 1 over 8. So, in multiplying fraction, we will multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So, pag sinimplify natin to, so that will be 35 times 1 times 1, so that will be 35. Over 16 times 8, so we have... 80 plus 48, so we have here 128. Or kung gagawin natin siyang uh, percentage, for example, ang hinihingi ng problem ay percentage, so I convert natin into percent. So that will be 35 divided by 128 times 100. So that is 27.34%. Or simplify na lang natin as whole number. So, we have here 27%. Okay, so that will be the answer for our problem. So, there is a 27% chance for the head to appear four times in seven tosses of a fair coin. Okay, so let's have now example number four. So, for example, number 4. So, balik tayo. Yun pa rin yung coin natin. So, when an unbiased coin is tossed 7 times, what is the probability of obtaining exactly 6 heads? Okay. So, identify the variable. So, we have n is equal to 7 pa rin kasi same problem naman to. Pero mababago yung letter x natin and that will be equal to 6. Kasi nga, expectation natin, 6 na beses lalabas yung tao. Then, for our p and q, so same pa rin siya, 1 half and 1 half. Failure and success or success and failure. Okay, so let's have the same formula. So our formula will be uh, probability of x is equal to combination of n taken r at a time times p to the x power times q to the n minus x. So, substitute. So, we have letter P, which is equal to 6, or X is equal to 6, kasi anim, anim na beses yung ating expectation. So, we are expecting that the head will appear 6 times out of 7 tosses. So, it's equal to combination of 7, taken 6 at a time, pitong hages, anim ang expectation natin, times 1 half, Ang ating letter P ay 1 half, probability of success, uh, raised to the uh, sixth power, times 1 half again for the probability of failure, raised to the first power. So, asa nang galing yung 1, that is 7 minus 6. And this will be equal to, uh, we have here, 7 factorial over 1 factorial times 6 factorial. So, sinimplify ko na ha. Gamit kayo ng formula. Balikan yung dating video lesson. Times, so we have 1 over 2 to the 6th power. So, that is 1 over, so ang 2 to the 6th power ay 2 times 2. 
we have 4 times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64. So 1 over 64. Then ang 1 half to the first power ay 1 half pa rin. Then simplify. So multiply tayo. Let's compute, uh, compute first for our combination. So using the calculator, so we have 7 factorial divided by, open parenthesis, 1 factorial times 6 factorial, close parenthesis, equal 7. So for our combination of n taken xr at a time, or combination of 7 taken 6 at a time, we have 7 times 1 over 64 times 1 over 2. So that will be equal to 7 over 64 times 2. We have here 128. So the answer is 7 over 128. So that is the probability of having 6 heads out of 7 tosses of coin. Then let's have our next example. A teacher develop a five-item multiple choice question. So ang sabi sa ating problem, mayroon tayong five-item na multiple choice question. So therefore, ang ating letter N is equal to five. So kasi lima yung trial natin. So limang beses tayo magtatry mag-answer. And then with four options in each item, so what is the probability that a certain student who randomly selects his answers will get exactly four correct answers. So, out of five, ano daw yung probability na makakatama yung sudyante natin ang apat? So, therefore, yung four natin is our number of successes among the trials. And that will be equal to four. So, x will be equal to four. And then, our letter P and letter Q, so four yung ating option. So, therefore, meron tayong one out of four para tumama. At meron tayong three out of four para magkamali. So, ang ating probability of success ay 1 over 4. Ang probability of failure ay 3 over 4. Okay, so ayan na yung mga data natin. We have n is equal to 5, x is equal to 4, p is 1 fourth, and q is 3 over 4. Let's proceed with the solution. So, let's have again our formula. So, we have p of x or probability of x is equal to combination of n taken x at a time times p to the x power times q to the n minus x power. So, substitute our values. So, we have probability of x is equal to 4. So, ano daw yung probability? Natatama tayo ng 4 out of 5 questions. And that will be equal to combination of 5 taken 4 at a time times p, so ang ating probability of success is 1 over 4, so meron tayong 1 fourth na probability na tayo ay tatama to the fourth power, and then our probability of failure is 3 over 4. So meron tayong 3 fourth probability na magkamali tayo ng sagot, and that will be to the first power, so 1 galing sa 5 minus 4. So, and this is equal to, so ang ating combination is equal to 5 factorial, over 1 factorial for 5 minus 4 times 4 factorial. And then time, so ang 1, to the, uh, 1 over 4 to the 4th power is 1 over 256. And then 3 port to the 1st power, so that is equal to 3 over 4 also. And then we will have here, so let's use our calculator now for our factorial. So, we have 5 factorial divided by, open parenthesis, 1 factorial times 4 factorial, close parenthesis, equal. So, we have 5. And then times 1 over 256 times 3 over 4. So, we have here 5 times 1 times 3 and that is equal to 15. And then 2, 5, 6 times 4. So we have 256 
times 4. And that is equal to 1024. So 15 over 1024. So we have now here 15 over 1024 probability to have four correct answers out of five multiple choice questions with four options. Okay, example number six, when an unbiased coin is tossed seven times, so balik tayo kay coin natin, seven times natin iahagis yung coin natin. So, what is the probability of obtaining at most three heads? Ano ba yung at most three heads? Pinakamaraming tatlo na tao. Diba? At most, pinakamarami. Pwedeng tatlo, pwedeng dalawa, pwedeng isa, pwedeng wala. Okay, so collect tayo ng ating mga value for our variable and our formula. So, we have 7. So, 7 is our letter N. So, that is the number of trials. Then, we have coin. So, ang ating letter P and letter Q is 1 half and 1 half also. So, dahil yan yung ating success and failure. Then, punta tayo sa at most 3 heads. So, again, pag sinabing at most 3 heads, so ang ating letter X can be 3, pinakamarami, 3, pwedeng mas konti sa 3, so pwedeng 2, pwedeng 1, at pwedeng wala. Diba? Pwedeng out of the 7 times ka naghagis ng barya, pwede namang walang lumabas na tao dun eh. So, posibleng mangyari yun. Posibleng mangyaring isa lang. Posibleng mangyaring dalawa. Posibleng mangyaring tatlo. So, therefore, kailangan nating mag-compute ng apat na beses. And then, yung apat na sagot, ia-add natin. Okay? So, meron tayong isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Meron tayong apat na solutions. Okay, so compute tayo. So, apat ang solution natin dito ha. So, unahin natin yung 3. So, unahin natin yung at most 3. Okay, so we have probability of x is equal to 3. Is equal to combination of 7 times tayong maghahagis ng coin. In-expect natin na merong tatlong heads. So, combination of 7 taken 3 at a time times 1 half. To the third power times one half to the fourth power. So that is seven minus three. Kaya meron tayong fourth power. So this will be equal to yung combination of seven or combination of seven taken three at a time natin. So that will be uh, seven factorial over four factorial times three factorial times ang ating 1 half to the third power ay 1 over 8 times 1 over 16 okay so calculator tayo so 7 factorial divide parenthesis 4 factorial times 3 factorial close parenthesis equal so, we have 35. So, 35 times 1 times 1, 35 na yung ating numerator. So, dito ko na lang ilalagay. So, this will be equal to 35. Then, ang denominator natin, so that is 8 times 16. So, we have here 128. So, meron tayong 35 over 128 chance na merong tatlong tao na lalabas out of the 7 tosses. Okay, second solution. So, this will be solution number 1. So, second solution. So, probability of x is equal to 2. Pwedeng dalawa. ba? Kasi pwedeng ang tatlo, pwedeng dalawa lang yung tao, pwedeng isa lang yung tao, pwedeng wala. So, this will be combination of 7 taken 2 at a time times 1 half to the second power times one half to the fifth power. So it's equal to seven factorial over. Uh, we have five factorial 
times 2 factorial. Times 1 over 4. Yung ating 1 half to the second power. Times 1 over 32. Is equal to. So. Kami tayong calculate. So we have 7 factorial divided by, open parenthesis, 5 factorial times 2 factorial, close parenthesis, equals. So we have 21. So 21 na yung ating numerator. We have here 21 over 4 times 32. So that is 128 also. So we have 21 over 128 probability that the head will appear two times out of the seven tosses. So under solution number three naman, we are expecting uh, that head will appear once. So that will be probability of x is equal to 1. So that is combination of 7. Combination of 7 taken 1 at a time. So times 1 half to the first power times 1 half to the n minus x. So that is 7 minus 1, sixth power. So this will be equal to... 7 factorial over 6 factorial times 1 factorial. Times 1 half, yung ating 1 half to the first power. Times 1 over, uh, ang ating 2 to the 6 power ay 64. And this will be equal to, this is 7. So 7 yung ating numerator. 128 yung ating denominator. 2 times 64 is 128. So, kasi 7 factorial to, divided by 6 factorial, 7, divided by 1, 7 pa rin. Yeah, 7 na, diniretso na natin. So, again, I always reminded you na yung combination of 7 taken 1 at a time ay pwedeng gamitan ng scientific calculator para mas madali. Then, solution number 4. So, we have probability of x is equal to 0. So, in-expect natin na sa pitong hagis, walang lalabas na head. So, that will be combination of 7 taken 0 at a time times 1 half to the 0 power times 1 half to the 7th power. And this will be equal to ang combination of 7 natin taken 0 at a time. So, that will be 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 0 factorial. So, tandaan, ang 0 factorial ay equal to 1, ha? Okay, times. Ang 1 half to the first to the 0 power ay 1. Times 1 over ang 2 to the 7 power ay 128. So, ang 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial times 0 factorial is equal to 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Over 128. So, meron ka lang daw isang probability or 1 over 28. 1 over 128 probability that the head will not appear. Okay, so yun yung apat natin na values. So, again, yung first value natin is 35 over 128. Pangalawa ay 21 over 128. Pangatlo ay 7 over 128. Pangapat ay 1 over 128. So, pag sinama rin natin ito, diba? So, ang lalabas ngayon dito ay, ang hinahanap natin dito ay the probability. Hinahanap natin is the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. Diba? Hinahanap natin dapat ang x daw ay mas mababa sa 3 o kaya pareho ng 3. 
So, and that will be equivalent to the so probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 0. So we have 35 over 128. Plus, so ano ba yung second solution natin? 21, 1, 2, 8. So we have 21 over 1, 2, 8. Plus, Seven over one two eight plus one over one two eight. So, dahil similar fractions naman yan, ko copy lang natin yung ibaba niyan. Puro one two eight na yan. Then add thirty five plus twenty one fifty six plus seven sixty three plus one sixty four. So, sixty four over one two eight ang ating probability. Pwede nating i-lowest term. So, it can also be expressed as 1 half. Or pwede nating i-fraction and that is equal to 50%. So, paano nakuha? Ulit, kinumpit natin yung x equals 3. Same solution, kamukha nung kanina. So, 35 over 1, 2, 8. Then, kinumpute natin yung x is equal to 2, so 21 over 1, 2, 8. And then, pangatlo, 7 over 1, 2, 8. Then, pang-apat, we have 1 over 1, 2, 8. Okay, so if we will go back with the question, sabi dun sa tanong natin, apat na solution x equals 3 x equals 2 x equals 1 and x equals 0 so the answer again is 64 over 128 or 1 half or 50% kahit alin diyan pare para wala lang naman yan okay so proceed tayo so that will be all for our example so we'll proceed with our practice problems so, for binomial probability, so problem number one, when an unbiased coin is tossed seven times, what is the probability of obtaining at least five heads? So, kung, kung nag-expect naman tayo ng at least five heads, so pwedeng lima, pinakamababa at least. Pag sinabing at least, pinakamababa, limang tao. Pwedeng lima, pwedeng anim, pwedeng pito. Ang magiging basis nyo in computing for the answer for problem number one is, probability of x is greater than or equal to 5. Kasi in-expect natin na uh, ang ating x ay pwedeng limang heads, anim na heads, o kaya pitong heads. Yung mapapalabas natin out of 7 tosses. Okay, sa loob ng pitong hagis, pwedeng limang tao, anim, o pito. Yung in-expect natin mapapalabas natin. So, ang magiging solution natin dito will be the probability of x is equal to 5 plus the probability of x is equal to 6 plus the probability of x is equal to 7. So, susundan nyo lang yung solution kanina. Okay? So, that will be the initial solution for problem number 1. Okay, problem number 2, a fair die is thrown 4 times. Hinagis ko daw yung dice ng apat na beses. So, what is the probability for me to get 3 twos? So, ano yung probability na yung tatlong, tatlo doon out of 4 ay 2 ang lalabas. So, okay, problem number 2 naman, kung kukunin natin yung kanyang initial solution, Ang ating letter N doon. So, ilang beses natin i-i-chay yung dice? Apat. 
So, ilan yung ating expected success? Tatlo. Okay. So, tatlo yung ating in-expect na success. Ano yung ating probability of success? So, ang ating letter P ay 1 over 6. Kasi meron ka lang isang 2 out of the 6 spaces. So, ang ating letter Q naman ay 5 over 6. Meron kang limang hindi 2 out of the 6 spaces. So, yan ang mga data na gagamitin. I-apply na lang natin yung formula na probability of x is equal to combination of n taken x at a time times p to the x power times q to the n minus x. Apply lang yung formula na yan. Okay, so yan yung initial solution for problem number 2. Okay, so you will comment down the answer for these two problems down in the comment box. Okay, and that will be all. So I will see you on the next uh, video.